also digesting some numbers on the jobs market today. U.S. employers announced fewer job cuts in December. That is according to Challenger Gray and Christmas, a nationwide job placement firm. Is the job market recovery well underway? <laughs> CEO John Challenger joins us now from our Chicago newsroom with his perspective. Great to see you, Mr. Challenger. So the planned firings, according to your survey, fell 73 percent in December, a fifth straight monthly decrease. And you've said these are promising signs of continued improvement. Detail how, please. Well, uh, we saw also, not just in December, you know, a very low number, uh, lowest since the recession began in terms of downsizing that 45,000 number. But in the last quarter uh, of 2009, we saw just over 155,000 job cuts. That was the lowest since uh, the second quarter of the year 2000, and it came in a quarter, the last quarter of the year, which is traditionally a very heavy time for layoffs. So what it suggests is that employers are really uh, now at the end of their bloodletting. They're very thinly staffed, and any turnaround in demand is going to cause them, I think, to do more hiring uh, as we move into 2010. What do your findings today say about the hope that the December payrolls number, of course, that we'll get on Friday will finally show that job losses have stopped? Well, let's hope that we've uh, about ready, you know, we're you know, near that turning of that corner. It fell to 11,000 in the month of November. That was a big surprise. Most were expecting 100 to 150,000 uh, losses in the month. Whenever you see a big drop like that, I'm always concerned there could be a balancing back in the following month. So you never know in any given month whether we're going to cross that threshold, in this case, you know, to get to positive numbers. Uh, uh, but I think we're on the mend, uh, and the numbers are going to continue to turn up uh, in this first quarter. Mr. Challenger, we're also, though, seeing employers trying to hold on to the people that they have right now in anticipation of that uh, bump up in the economy, are we not? We are. Well, that's another sign. You know, you just don't let people go. We're seeing the quit rate uh, begin to go up uh, in terms of, you know, it's a proportional level to uh, dismissals by companies. That's a sign that uh, people uh, who are working feel more confident. They can leave and go find new jobs or they're being poached away by other companies. And that also means that companies are stepping up to try and hold on, certainly to their very best uh, people at every level of the company, they know when you're uh, again at this point where your 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 uh, population is taught, you just don't have that much room. That if there's growth, you're going to need those people. Or if people leave, you're going to need uh, to find people to replace them. And, and I noticed that there was something in the report. It, it was just a figure that it really jumped out at me. The report showing that uh, companies last month announced plans to hire 35,592 workers, and that's up from 10,000. 83 a year earlier. That's a significant jump. Well, certainly uh, the hiring, you know, is now much more on the minds of employers. We're seeing much more uh, uh, jobs uh, being sought out by companies to uh, companies looking for recruiters to come in and help them uh, manage that growth as they move into the new year. So, you know, I think the job growth is coming now. Uh, at the same time. You know, in the last two recessions, we've seen uh, 15 to 18 month periods of jobless recovery in the aftermath uh, of the recession. So if we came out of recession at the end of the summer, uh, last summer, we're maybe six months into this period of jobless recovery. I don't think we're going to see as uh, long a period this time, but certainly there are a lot of pressures on employers who have uh, seen you know, continuously you know, bad news when they hired too many people over the last couple of years. That kind of lack of business confidence is going to certainly continue to cause them to hold business levels down somewhat. So would you characterize where we are right now in this stage of economic recovery as a jobless recovery, if that's how it had been characterized in the months, initial months leading out of the recession? Well, I think that we're going to see a shorter period of jobless recovery uh, in this recession because the cuts were so long and so deep over the course of this uh, uh, two-year recession. And so uh, as we uh, move through this period of jobless recovery, I think we'll see some periods of kind of this three steps forward, two steps back. As we get into the second half of 2010, uh, uh, more pressure uh, on unemployment to drop. Uh, but I, again, my basic sense is uh, we're moving into more positive territory in the job front. Good place to leave it. Our thanks to John Challenger, CEO of Challenger J and Christmas.